a cheeseburger is practically perfect. And a patty melt, that takes it to another level. How do you improve on that? Throw in some pimento cheese and you have a new world of flavor in that sandwich. I know there are some people who are unfamiliar with pimento cheese, and that's a shame. There's a reason some consider it the caviar of the South. Today we'll combine that creamy spread with a juicy burger for a patty melt that's over the top. Let's get to it. You probably have a lot of the ingredients that you'll need for this recipe already on hand, but the most important part is the ground beef. To make an amazing patty melt, you need to start with the best beef. We'll be using certified Angus beef, 80% lean ground beef. This provides the perfect amount of fat for a burger. Since this is going between two slices of bread, you'll want a thin patty and we'll use the smash technique. First thing you'll need to do is divide the meat into four equal portions. Then form them into loose spherical shapes, making sure not to compress the grind too much. To ensure that the patties stay juicy, even when they're smashed, it's crucial to use certified Angus beef because if it's not certified, it's not the best. For the pimento cheese, we'll start with slicing up a couple green onions. These provide a nice, mild onion flavor and a little crunch. If you don't have green onions, you could substitute granulated onion, but raw yellow onion might be a little too strong. Next, chop up some pimentos, which are the namesake for this spread. Pimentos are a jarred sweet pepper, similar to a red bell pepper, but more flavorful. Chop them fairly fine because you want to ensure to get a little bit in each bite. You really want the flavor of the pimento to come through. Mayo and cream cheese give this spread its creamy texture. The combination of the two make it just the right consistency. The mayo for its creaminess and the cream cheese will help to make it more spreadable. Let the cream cheese warm up at room temperature for a little while so that it folds easily into the spread. I probably could have let this sit out just a little bit longer. Using a sturdy spatula rather than a whisk will make mixing the ingredients much easier. Add some of your favorite hot sauce. I only use a teaspoon here, but if you like it spicier, go wild. Finally, we'll go in with some sharp cheddar cheese. This has a more assertive flavor. If you don't like sharp cheese, it's fine to use a mild cheddar. At this point, you really want to mix well to assure that everything is well distributed and there aren't any clumps of ingredients, but the spread will remain a little chunky. This sandwich is simple, but all of the elements are important, even the bread that you decide to use. You want something fluffy and just the right thickness. I decided to buy an unsliced white sandwich loaf. This way I can control the thickness of the slices. You want slices about one inch thick. This will be thick enough to stand up to the patty and the spread, but not so thick that the pimento cheese won't warm through. If you want pre-sliced bread, you could simply buy Texas toast. Whatever you decide, we'll need eight slices at the end of the day. Using mayo to toast the bread instead of butter is a handy trick to have in your back pocket. It's easy to spread in an even layer, and since it's mostly oil, it'll brown beautifully. Plus, you're already using it in the pimento cheese. Once all the bread has a smear of mayo, spread a layer of the pimento cheese on the opposite side of the mayo. Pimento cheese on each slice will encapsulate the patty in the spread and give it more surface area to warm through. We're finally getting to the best part, the smash patties. Crank that griddle to high heat and go onto it with those spheres of beef. I find it most efficient to use two spatulas to smash the patties. One hefty wide one for the smashing and another one to provide more downforce in order to get that patty super thin. When smashing, smear the patty out a bit. This will help the patty fit the bread and prevent beef from sticking to the spatula. Remember, these patties will shrink some while they're cooking, so you want them to be as wide as possible. Aim for a size slightly bigger than the slices of bread. You want to make sure that every bite has some of that burger patty in it. Don't forget to season your burger patties. You'll have to season after the smash so that every inch gets salt and pepper. So have your S&P on hand and move quickly because that first side cooks faster than you think. Since your patties are so thin, you only really need to season the one side. And once the edges start to lose that pink coloring, it's time to flip. Make sure to scrape under the patties really well. The whole point of smashing them is to create a beautiful crust on the burger, and you don't want to leave it stuck to the griddle. Come on, look at that crust. 
nothing else will give you such a brown, beautiful crust like that. It will only take a minute on the second side since most of our cook time occurred while we were creating that crust. Place the patties on a clean plate or sheet pan and cover with foil to keep them warm. Before toasting the bread, you want to make sure that the debris from the patty is scraped away and your griddle is clean. This is also a good time to adjust the heat. You want it on a medium low so the bread gradually toasts. At this point, you're treating the sandwich just like a grilled cheese. Make sure to monitor the browning of the bread. If there are hot spots, rotate so that it toasts evenly. Once the bread is a little toasty, add the beef patty to complete the sandwich. Allow it to toast a little further to melt the cheese. Keeping those patties warm is key so that the whole sandwich is hot and gooey. This is a perfect recipe if you have a Blackstone style griddle because you could make the patties while the bread toasts and put them directly onto the slices. Look at that toasty bread filled with gooey pimento cheese in that perfectly seared beef patty. This sandwich really combines three amazing comfort foods, grilled cheese, pimento cheese, and a cheeseburger. You'll be an all-star to whoever you share this with. Patty melts are great, but a pimento patty melt, that's next level. See you next time here in the Test Kitchen at Certified Angus Beef.